An army of Black Lives Matter activists have taken over six city blocks in downtown Seattle. They're surrounding an abandoned police precinct building. They've given themselves a name, the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone. That's their new country within the borders of our country. They say they will not leave and disband their new nation until the city's police department is abolished completely. Dan Springer is at the zone in Seattle for us tonight. Dan? Yeah, and this is the third night of what can only be described as a, a complete takeover of a seven block area of a Seattle neighborhood. And we don't see a single police officer or city official anywhere. So it does appear as if the protesters are digging in for the long haul. Uh, they're calling it the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone. I've also seen the name Free Capitol Hill. And right in the center of it is the Seattle Police Department's East Precinct. Police said today that they are boarded up and abandoned the building on Monday. Day, after receiving a credible threat that criminals within the protest group were planning to burn it down. They did not say how cutting and running makes it safer. As we looked around the police-free zone today, we saw roughly 20 tents, lots of graffiti, and barricades at each of the six entrances. There's also security guards. We know this one had several ammunition clips. One of our fine uh, rep protesters here showing his uh, ignorance. A local station got video of several guards armed with assault rifles. They are asking for identification before letting people in, and police have received reports of the armed guards demanding money from some businesses inside their area. We also saw people passing out food in what they call a no-cop co-op, and they made a long list of demands. We have a full screen can show you at least some of them. Among them, abolish the Seattle Police Department and the court system, disarm all cops until they are all fired, and abolish Who youth jails. You the mayor's for? office did not Who respond to our request for? for a request Who for information about for? what they plan to do next and how this all ends. And you can see one of our fine uh, protesters here just yelling Who to hear himself yell. For? Yeah, very good. Okay, so Tucker, we'll send it back to you. Yeah, this is this is what you're dealing with out here. Be careful, Dan. Well, that's America um, right now, tonight. It's totally cool. Not a big deal. Just upset about police brutality. Right. The demands, you heard Dan Springer mention a couple of them abolishing the police. They're also demanding the immediate retrial of all non-white violent felons currently in prison. People convicted of a violent crime who are not white, they all need new trials. But they're also demanding the abolition of all prisons, not just those for young people. They demand a ban on disturbing homeless encampments in any way. They demand an end to all evictions. They demand segregated hospitals, something we were pleased to get over 60 years ago, but they want them back. They want black doctors and nurses exclusively hired to care for black patients. They want segregation. You cool with that? And of course, they demand an immediate amnesty for all rioters in the past two weeks. We wanted to share those demands with you, be honest about them, because nobody else is going to tell you. The left's preferred response is much like its response to the rioting around the country. Ignore it. It's cool. It's totally fine. Yeah, they're demanding segregation. Not a big deal. Governor Jay Inslee of Washington was just asked about the mob that has taken over the center of his state's largest city. Inslee's response? Never heard of him. Governor, I'd like to ask you about what's going on in Seattle. There's this uh, thing called the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone. What's your thought on that? The fact that the protesters have taken that over and not allowing people to come and go freely? And I hope regarding the National Guard. Well, that's news to me, so I'll have to reserve any comment about it. I, I, have not, I have not heard anything about that. Yeah, not a big deal. A group of racist lunatics with semi-automatic weapons have created its own country in the middle of your biggest city, but you're not really aware that that's happening. Right. So what happens when leaders behave like that? When they're so weak, they can't even criticize lunatics with guns creating a new country in the middle of their biggest city. What do you think it does? It's a message to predators, up your ambition. As long as we have leaders like that, and as long as they refuse to stand up to extremists, we're gonna get more extremism. And that's happening. Even Republicans in Washington are standing aside as police nationwide are denounced as racist, all of them.